Oh, wow. Well, happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. I mean, sort of Derek Shore. I'm Morticia. Oh, yes, and I guess I'm Gomez mm -hmm. Adams. Who I get annoyed by you, right? Well, I could never get annoyed by you. You know, uh, we hope that you're enjoying this Halloween wherever you are, whether you're at work, at school, at home. Maybe you're watching on your phone someplace. Oh, I hope so. Cousin It's even here. Let me pass this over to you, my love. Oh, my gosh. Cousin It, these are drinks courtesy of Palace Party Beverage Company. Cheers. Oh, this looks fantastic. What a way to start a show. They look very, very spooky. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, mm. <laughs> thanks to our whole team for a very last minute mm. running in and creating this little open for us. I feel quite festive. Mm -hmm. You look fantastic, by the way. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I think Little Tex is even in on the action. So, folks, oh, yes. we do have such a great show coming up for you today. We do. Lots of cheers happening. Um, and we want to see your Halloween costumes. We absolutely do. There's so many creative folks out there. So go ahead and post pictures of you or your loved ones in their costumes. Post them to our Houston Life Facebook page. And we just might share them at the end of the show. By the way, you know that Morticia and uh, Gomez Adams, they love to tango, if you haven't seen the movie. So our producers thought it would be fun. Every time they play tango music, we're gonna have to stop what we're doing, and we're gonna, oh no, and we're gonna have to tango. Wait, we did the, we did the tango. We did it. Do you know how to tango? No. Neither do I. And everybody at home needs to take a drink. <laughs> take a drink. It's the middle of, of the coffee. Of coffee, of water. How long do we, we have done? to tango, guys? Are we done? Are we done with this? Okay, okay. great. Good job. Oh, we probably should nice. rehearse this. Very nice. Should we switch to the Green Goblin drink? You know what? Let's do that. And why don't we tell the lovely viewers at home about today's lovely show. Courtney and I will compete in a hair-raising Halloween obstacle course. Who will be crowned the winner? Oh, probably me. <laughs> probably you. I guess <laughs> you will have to stay tuned to find out. Now, are your manners scary from costumes to age limits, trick or treaters? All right, we're helping you brush up on your etiquette before Halloween night. Ooh, and thanks again to Palace Party Bevco for this. This is mm -hmm. delicious. This is like some sort of jalapeno surprise. Okay, oh, before we get to all that funny. excitement, though, if you listen to 104.1 KRBE, in the mornings, you definitely know Special K, all of his incredible pranks. Well, one of the games he likes to play involves <laughs> the box of mystery, the mystery box. Oh, I know. And today he was kind enough to bring that mystery box here to Houston Life Studio so we can experience it for ourselves. Come on out, Special K. Oh, hello, oh, sir. move from festive to frightful. Here it is, guys, the Rula and Ryan mystery box, which you can hear us uh, using on Mondays on the show. So that's the actual box. And for, for viewers at home who maybe haven't heard this whole gig on the show, you guys essentially ask people to stick their hands in the box. They have no idea what's inside the box, right? We've got one minute to figure out exactly what it is. Now, it could be anything. We've had animals in there. Oh, gosh. We've had um, uh, things that come from animals. Um, like poop? body parts, Ew. Uh, different things, but I've kept it mysterious for you guys today. No hints, but I do have everything ready for you. Okay. Now, I believe that I'm going to make Derek go first because Fabulous. I want him to kick it off with the, well, maybe not the most scariest, but the most festive thing that I could find to put in here. So, Derek, you're gonna put on this blindfold here. I'm gonna lick the, the fake blood off my fingers first. Okay. okay. So viewers at home will be able to see what's in the box? Absolutely. And we have no idea, even our cards don't, don't have that, it just says round one, round two, so we have mm. no idea. And while you're putting on that, Ooh. I'd like to introduce my costume, since it takes expl explanation, we have a royal flush today. Today. Oh! Hello! Yes. Hello! No. A royal flush, huh? <laughs> I was totally clueless, too. I, what I, is I, wrong fantastic. with that? Thank you. I love it. <laughs> All right, so All right. here, I'm going to move this forward just a bit so I don't um, spill okay. these lovely Okay, put that cocktails. blindfold on, sir. Here. Okay, cool. And okay. I will grab the first item. Tell me when you have the blindfold, blindfold on. on. The Can blind... Some napkins? The okay. Blindfold is on. There are some napkins down there. Oh, okay. Okay, and I'm going to get this first thing all ready for you. Now, what you got to do is you got you to feel down into this. What I have here is a plate, and I have put... I've put it on the plate. Put something on the plate. Yes. Okay. I put it on the plate. Do so I put your hands. Yeah. Put your hands in there. I do both oh, hands. Yeah. Both hands. I and saw grab it. what's in there, 
and try to figure out what it is. It's nothing bad, like. No, it could never be like a mouse trap or something. Oh, bad. oh gosh. Courtney, stop with the go sound ahead. Quick, quick. It's making me more nervous. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Right. Put Wait. your hands in there. There you go. There you Seriously. go. Seriously. Oh. There you go. Oh, I feel really bad. For okay. You. Oh, Courtney, are you acting right now? Okay. What do you think that is, buddy? I, I think <sighs> it's an earthworm. It feels like a worm. Well, you're, you're right. It is like worms. Worm. Oh. It is earthworms. You know I love all animals. I They're know. So cute I'm not totally asking you to worms. eat them. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You you got your first one right. So I'll give you a point so for that. So what does that one. mean? I get so, a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whoever oh. gets the least amount of points has to eat the last item. No. That's no. Not how we're no. Playing. Oh, I thought that's why you guys invited me. No. She doesn't like rules. No. She's not a fan. Of I don't rules. know if I can do this with all this on. Do oh, I, you sure can. Can I, can I just close my eyes? No. No. Can no. I get a napkin for this blood first of all? <laughs> sure. Sure. Here you go. You know Here's your blood you, napkin. You kind of remind me of Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls. You know when she shows up to the costume party and they're like, "Oh, why so scary?" What's this? I mean, that's like any other day, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Is that uh, no. is that on your face? I, I mean, you pushed off my eyelashes. Those are natural. Yes. Okay, don't knock I... over our drinks, baby. Okay, are you ready? I'm no. going to put the next item in there. It is placed, and please place your hands in the mystery box. Ooh. I'm not saying a word about this. <laughs> are you kidding me? I... Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Put your hands in there. <laughs> okay, don't be scared. Have a time I would never this. do anything to Is it gonna scary, bite me? Please. I can't make any promises. Maybe at okay, one so point just put it your hand been. down. Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Come on, you've got to give point. it a better it's touch like than that. Wet. What okay. is that? Ooh, okay. I don't know. You're just gonna have a grab, grab a hold. I can't. Yes. I'm not good at this. Yes, game. you can. You really get in there. Really and get just. Your I don't know. I don't grab know what, what it is. is. Courtney, come on. No, go, go, go. Come on. You, you got a gotta minute. Go. Come I on. Can't. Just grab it. Look. I don't want to. Is it chicken? It's not gonna kill you. You gotta really touch it. I don't it. want to. <laughs> I mean, it could come be on. something simple or it could be something super want gross. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you crying? So, What's no. kind of crying in daytime? So are you, what is it? Okay, can you look in the, I guess you can't see in there, but we have chicken livers here. Oh, I Wait, knew it was something wet. Look, look. I don't want to see chicken it. livers that's here. That's nasty. Isn't it though? You Dude, people. that's like salmonella so, poison. You don't, get, waiting to you don't get that point. I'm so sorry. I don't want the point. Derek, Here's what's going to happen in this game. I'm going to stay right here in the safe zone. That's where I'm staying. I don't like this. You agreed to take this job. You have to touch the yeah, chicken liver. Yeah, take some more of that. Get I get some hand sanitizer. Get some courage there. There you go. Remember, mm -hmm. the person with the fewest points at the end of this round, Courtney Zavala, has to eat the last clue, That's right? That's right. That's All right. right. Well, one okay. second. Okay. You're, go ahead. Put your put your oh, blindfold sorry. back I was on, just about so we can move this take game along, step. sir. Okay. All right. Next item. I believe this is the next item here. This is what? nasty. So this is the type of stuff you actually put in the box for uh, on the radio. Actually, we came up with all new stuff except for the worms for you guys today. So uh, the possibilities are endless. Put your hands in. Go I ahead, buddy. The worms ahead. compared to the chicken liver. The worms were a, like, I don't know, an easy one. Yeah. Go ahead. Put your hands in there. I don't know. Like, there are no mousetraps, seriously. <laughs> Nothing that's gonna, like, grab us. I don't know. Well, I can't tell you. Okay, go ahead. Go a little bit deeper there. Don't be scared. Grab in the middle there. There Grab you go. Grab in the middle. <laughs> there you go. There you go, right there. Right there. Okay. Guys, I have no, I don't know. Any guesses whatsoever? It feels mushy, like, uh -huh. sort of like cornmeal or okay. wet mashed potatoes. <laughs> Wait, I uh -oh. get... Don't I get more than one guess before that awful sound effect comes in? <laughs> um, okay. Any guesses whatsoever? Is it like lentil? Let me give you a hint. This is Halloween. So easy. Halloween. Y'all are. Pumpkin. Oh, these are pumpkin seeds. All right. Yes. yes. That's two seeds. points, dude. You are killing it. Are you ready? I don't like this. Are you ready? Come on, come on. I think we got time for one more. I feel like we... One more. <sighs> are you going to put on your blindfold? Or you it's Halloween. Close your eyes? It comes but once a year. I still have Salmonella on my hands. Wait here, well, I'm, I'm about to hook you up. I was a professional blindfold. Wait, you guys have to dance. Oh, oh man. Time to dance. Oh. This show is so weird. <laughs> Sorry, my hands have chicken liver on them. I, mine too. <laughs> here, I'm going to dip you, baby. 
No, still the music going. is still going. Mm. Okay, time for the next box. Okay! <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Okay. Put your blindfold back on. Do we have time for the next box? Oh, we sure do. All We're right. For it. Okay. All right. Buckle up, Courtney. Ugh. It's going to be a wild, sticky, chicken liver filled ride. No, it's already been chicken livered. <laughs> Don't put that back in there. Okay. Can you, or is it nice and uh, I can't see anything. Sealed up? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No clues? Um, That's not how the game works. You... You gotta stick your hand in. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you any clues. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Sorry, sorry. You're this, saying sorry again? <laughs> this is a mean one. <laughs> Isn't it, though? I feel like this was definitely rigged against Courtney. Come on, touch him. No, you had worms, though. Oh. Go ahead, put your hand down I there. I don't want like, to. Oh, just, just grab one of those delicious. items and keep talking us oh, through it. I I don't know what it is. <laughs> what does it feel like? A bowl. Okay, of and what, what does it feel like in the bowl? I don't know. Grab one of those items. I don't want. Grab one of those items and like, roll it with your finger. No! Yes, come on. There you go, there a you go. Meatball? No, no, no. What kind of, not a meatball, but an uh, eye, uh, eye. Uh, uh. What? It was an eyeball? Well, open your eyes. No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Here, I got what you. What is it? What I is got it? you. <laughs> Grapes. Ah! <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm such a girl. I'm oh, not good at it. Well, and I believe we have a, a mobile delivery of some hand sanitizer. Thank you, hand. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, hand. Sweet. Thank you, hand. Um, wow, Kevin, that was really cool. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. It's a little nerve-wracking to, like, it? not know what's happening. Now, we've got two more items left, but we're saving them for social media, so we'll put them on the um, Houston Life Instagram. And also, what we should put on our Houston Life Instagram is Courtney eating that last clue, since statistically, you have no way of winning now. That is true. You, Sorry, babe. you can't miss this. Definitely check out their social media. Kevin, thank you so much, you royal flush. And I'm so well, excited because yes. Kevin's gonna stick around I am. in the show. Coming up after the break, from pumpkin bowling to a special witch's ring toss, Special K is gonna show us through this really cool obstacle course. There it is. That right I can get behind. Okay, drink your cocktail, Yes, Courtney. drink your cocktail. Everything's gonna be fine. Want some grapes? Back with Special K from 104.1 KRBE. All right, guys. I know you're gonna take us through this obstacle course. I still have Cousin It. I think you might want to put that drink down, I my will, dear. as soon as I get the rules. <laughs> okay, so what are the rules? <laughs> it's pretty easy. It's a Halloween uh, obstacle course here. We're gonna start here with your brooms and a pumpkin on top of your head. You must balance this pumpkin on top of your head while you shuffle this little pumpkin around these obstacles here. Once you get to the end, you're going to use this broom to uh, sweep eyeballs up into the pumpkin there. We're gonna call that uh, pumpkin golf. Pumpkin okay. golf, okay. okay. Then we're gonna go over to the table over there where you're going to do some skull scoop up with your mouth with the scoop there. Now you cannot use your hands. You must use your mouth to uh, put on the spoon and scoop them into those cups. So scoop up the little skull balls with our mouths. You got it. Drop them into the pitchers. Moving there. on to Halloween bowling uh, is the next one. You're simply going to use that ball to knock over the Halloween cups, all six spooky cups. And then lastly, we're gonna head over and we're going to plaster some of your producers in mummy paper. Once I feel that your mummy looks good, you're going to put a hat on them, a witch's hat, and throw rings on them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Where'd Katie go? There's the hand. That's cool. <laughs> Carolina, you're all by yourself. Okay, guys, so get your pumpkin ready. Get your broom ready. Do we have, like, special music or something to keep us occupied? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Wait, if you what? drop the pumpkin, Oh you must start over again. Be you very didn't, careful. Didn't say go. I would just like to point out. <laughs> That's true. Did I mention Courtney doesn't <laughs> like rules? Okay. All right, you got it to the end. Got now throw the down the pumpkin, off. grab one of those eyeballs, and I need three of them in three, there, please. Go in. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, this is bad. No. Oh, dear. No. You need... My hair. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah. You need three of these to go in? Oh, okay, you got one, one there. Okay. Oh, man. Come on. Courtney, are you getting any in there? Yes. Uh, you know, okay. I if feel like... At home, this is harder than it looks. Oh, it is. It's my hair. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> you know, there's a thing with Courtney's hair in this show. Viewers are probably thinking it's your hair, too. <laughs> uh, it seems like we'll hey, probably be here all day if we keep doing this one. My... 
Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to give Courtney one more try before we force you all to move on to the next one. Okay. I, well, I've got one so far. Yeah. Why? This is a you got one in, Courtney? Yes. All right. That's good enough. We got one in each. Come on. Let's move it on down here. Now, please. It's just a game. But come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. Put these scoops. In, put your hands behind your back. Put the scoop in your mouth, please. And I need three. Derek, yours is on the end here. Oh, uh. Yes. Great with his mouth, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Courtney's got one. Derek's got two now. Courtney's trying to scoop on that second one there. Ooh. All right. And Derek, you're good to move on to All your right. next obstacle, which is Halloween bowling. Oh, man. Do I have to get... Bowl it. Yeah, go fetch it. Oh. Be nice with it. Be gentle, guys. Oh, my Next goodness. Back. Oh, got mine. Yep, yep, it's good enough. Head on over there and wrap up your mummy, Derek. Oh, wrap, wrap up? up your mummy first. That's second. Oh, man. Wrap the mummy first. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Wait, here we go. Wait, that's no fair. You have a green person. <laughs> Why is that no fair? Oh. Okay, here we go. I don't know Make if it my... pretty. And once I say that it's pretty enough, well, you may stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going here. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll take it around back there. Sometimes All right. <laughs> we should practice. I don't know about this. Ahead of time. But I need the whole, whole body at least. The whole body? Keep going. We got the arms. Oh, man. Sorry, mommy. You're doing Still, we're doing job. on time here. All right. Still doing good on time, guys. Uh, Courtney's really kicking it right now. Oh, of course she is. All right, Courtney, that's probably going to be good for you. Oh, what? I will, I will let that, I will let that one go. So now put the hat on her. There you go. This is Fairly awkward. Enough. Sorry, green person. Tie it. Let's Sorry. You tie it. Uh, Ke oh, Kevin. I mean, uh, just tie it off, buddy. Okay. That's going to be good enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now what happens? You're going to tie that on. Now go, go right about here, right there, right there. I need you to, need you to do three of those rings up okay, on there. You following me? You got a tip, right? Okay. 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 Go stand right there. <laughs> okay. Ready? Green, oh. Hold on. There's one. Okay, green person. Just sort of. Ready? Two. Three. All right. We got our winner. Courtney's oh. our winner. Yeah. Wow, Courtney. <laughs> Derek, you're doing so well in the beginning. I'm so sorry. I still love you, darling. <laughs> Let's give the viewers a special treat. <laughs> Again, we should have practiced. It <laughs> uh, like someone's going to get hurt. All of our players that were so All right. K104.1 KRBE. Right, you can find him on social media or, of course, oh, listen oh, to him. <laughs> on 104.1 KRBE. Right, so 104.1 KRBE every morning on the morning drive. That is right. Here. After the break, are your manners dreadful? Monica and Darian Lewis are in the house to talk Halloween etiquette. Ooh, we'll be right back. So spooky. Costume boat pause. Are your manners up to the task? Adult trick-or-treaters. What etiquette experts, Monica? Monica and Darian Lewis are joining us now with all the dreadful details. Oh, including how old is too old to go trick or treating? Yeah. You're going to break it all down for us. This is obviously an exciting time of year. Yes. Why don't we start uh, with your first question and we'll yes. right. First question. If there's an unten unattended candy bowl oh. and some on someone's front porch, what do you do? A. Grab the whole bowl and run. B. Grab as much as you want. C, don't trust it, it's a trap. D, grab a few pieces and save some for others. Husband and wife, right? I mean, I, my answer wouldn't be on there, but I would say grab one piece, yeah. not a few pieces. What would you say? Yeah, I grab, you know, it's, it's, a, it's sending the message of help yourself, not to help yourself to the whole bowl. Right, it's not a buffet, so you can grab yourself between one or two pieces, no more than two. I think it's okay. nice if they're not home. That's a nice gesture. Right. People are like, I'm not buying candy. But if right. they're not home, they're going to leave a bowl, which is very nice. Right. right. Because most of the time you think about it, we go to restaurants, they have the peppermint bowl. Normally we tend to put our whole hand in it. Well, you I don't know. do that. So you just grab one or two and you're good. Sometimes go. it is a trap, though, because some neighbors, and this is a great prank, uh, 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 they'll sit out there as a uh, dummy exactly. and they'll have the bowl of candy. Exactly. Yes. Right. Right. Just know, it works every time. Oh, Y'all need to so do good. that. Exactly. Let's do it. Okay, question number two. If a 20-year-old trick or Trita shows up at your door, how do you react? A, invite them in, tricks are for kids and you deserve a treat, or B, treat them normally, all ghosts are created equal. C, shut the lights off and hide like the IRS are coming. <laughs> D, 
open the door and lecture them about their poor life choices. I'm gonna, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I would say treat them with respect. I yeah. mean, you're, they're not gonna. They could be out doing some trouble at 20. Exactly. Right. You know. But the fact that they're coming in and, and enjoying the holiday. Maybe and not it. the grandma and the aunties who are right. behind the kids. That <laughs> right. 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 That's true. Which is, our, which is where we're going. Yeah. I did, by the way, trick or treat through my senior year in high school. Yeah. And, like, it was kind of fun. You know, it was fun to, like, see my neighbor's parents, yeah. like, friends' right. parents and, and stuff. And I think it's okay for that age. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. when we go with the boys, I'm not, they're walking up to the door. I'm exactly. not. Exactly. That's the best the way to do it. And you're I'm still going in through the, their bags. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, the oh, you, 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 yeah, you're, thing. you're All right, let's go. We have another question for you. All right. So, if you, is it okay for you to use the restroom while you're trick-or-treating at your neighbor's house? True or false? Ew. A, true, yeah. B, Do false. Do we know them? Do you want neighbor. me to know them? No. <laughs> if someone asked you, like a stranger was like, trick-or-treat, by the way, can, can I, I use your bathroom? potty? Yeah. Yeah. That Probably not a stranger, out, but I have... The answer is false. Right. If you're going to go trick-or-treating, you want to make sure that you take care of all the potty breaks before you get started. And if right. you have young right. ones, you want to plan your route accordingly and only do it at someone's house that you absolutely know, number one only, not number two. Ever. Uh, ever. <laughs> Or if it's a desperate situation, just dump out some candy from one of those Halloween buckets. No, 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 Let's no. Let's go to the next exactly, question. Exactly, no. <laughs> you are gross. Desperate time. <laughs> no, Derek. Hold it. Absolutely. And go not. home. Desperate time. Hold not it. even. All right, so let's go to the next question. All right, how do you handle neighbors who refuse to answer the door but their light is on? All right, A, if their porch light is off, keep moving. B, if the lights are on, still keep knocking. C, call them and say, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> D, leave a note on the door that says, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Oh, I'm gonna go with the last one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> go. Uh, well, I, I, the first, well, I guess if the light is on, mm -hmm. you assume they're you home. Assume they're home you but assume. if it's off, we skip to the next We keep house. moving. So we're gonna go with A on this answer. Okay. If the light is off, keep moving. Okay. Don't stop when the light is off. But however, if they leave the light on mm -hmm. and you knock on the door or you ring the doorbell at least once and they don't come, keep moving. We don't need to stay on there for don't, an hour. Right, no, right. no, 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 okay. no. Don't, don't harass the neighbors. They may have forgotten. <laughs> okay, question number five. Is it okay to trick or treat in a nicer neighborhood because they have better candy? A, yes, as long as you do it as dressed as Mary Poppins. B, yes, as long as you don't dress as Beetlejuice. C, yes, however, you must be respectful of neighborhood rules and property. D, no, nope, never. I would say C. I mean, what's wrong with going to another neighborhood to trick or treat? Yeah. That's the answer. See, That's the answer. Okay. As long as yeah. you're respectful. As long yeah. as you're respectful, you be mindful of their property. Yes. If they have decorations, that's not an excuse for you to trash your decorations. Use the sidewalk, the sidewalk. and don't yes. go through In the flower bed. There's yeah. some neighborhoods that don't have sidewalks. So yes. what if you don't want your kids walking through that? You're going to find a neighborhood. That right. has a sidewalk, right. And then exactly. some of the neighborhoods that we come from are not kid-friendly. Totally. So it, it will make you have to go to another neighborhood. Right. Be respectful. Use your manners. There are entire neighborhoods Always. that hate kids. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there are. Some of them. Does, may not have a lot of children in the neighborhood. Or they may not have sidewalks. They may not be con conducive for actually trick-or-treating. So, you know, you may have to walk on the street and do, th do some of those things. But, you know, not every neighborhood is, is designed with the idea of trick-or-treaters in mind. Okay. So, be mindful of that. All right, let's go. We have another question. Costume faux pas is the question that we have this time. Should I wear a mask while I'm trick-or-treating with my kids? Oh. A, you're too old. B, no, <laughs> you will creep out the neighbors. No, it may obstruct your vision, or D, all of the above. I'm going to say, yeah, all the above, but you don't want it, yeah. Absolutely, the that's the correct. Don't wear a mask as an adult, especially if you're going to bring little kids with you. <laughs> yep, you're yeah, absolutely I, right. By the way, I did put on a mask in the office the other day. It was far too easy to scare our coworkers. <laughs> We're going to play that clip in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> all right. Well, Number seven, safety. Should I allow my children to eat their candy on the spot? A, true, B, or false? Oh, false. false. No. False. Mom and dad need to go through that. That's stuff. true. Absolutely. You want to make sure you inform your children we're not going to eat the candy while we trick or treating. We'll wait till we get home so we can expect it. And in addition to, you know, we eat candy, we throw the trash in the lawn or mm -hmm. whatever. Yes. 
Yeah. So that's another thing. You want to make sure <laughs> you wait till you get home and let me inspect the candy first, right. and then you can indulge. All right. You got, oh, we have another question? We, we do. We have okay. a brain teaser for you. Okay, this is called Horrific Honorifics. All right, so here's the question. Courtney, Michael Myers. Okay. Michael Myers, Count Dracula, and Bloody Mary are at your party. In what order do you introduce them to your other guests? A, Count Dracula, Bloody Mary, and Michael Mary Myers. B, Bloody Mary, Count Dracula, Michael Myers. C, Michael Myers, Count Dracula, Bloody Mary, or D, who cares? They're all out for my blood. B. B? I, I'm gonna say C, Mike Myers first. C. The other two don't actually exist. Well, the answer is B. Ladies Queen first. Bloody Mary, Queen Marie Antoinette, followed by Count Dracula, and finally Mike Myers. Oh, I love yeah. you. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I know that, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Marcia, you're always right. Number nine. Snap, snap. We have one last one, and here we go. Go for it. If you were invited to have dinner with Dr. Hannibal Lecter, he's preparing a special meal in your honor, what should you do? Right. A, accept the invitation, always be open to trying new things. <laughs> B, regretfully decline due to a splitting headache. C, accept, but warn him that you're allergic to foul beans. D, accept the invite and bring Agent Starling as your plus one. Ooh. I like the Ready? last one. So which one would you do? D. D. I don't know. I I'm think I would say party. E, run for the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. D is actually the correct yes. answer. It's okay to bring your plus one if you're going to have dinner with Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Because yes. you never know if you're going to be on the menu or not. Can I ask a question to y'all? Yes. yes. What if, is it bad etiquette for somebody to not hand out candy, they hand out something else on Halloween? Okay, oh. let's talk about this. If you walk to, if you see a house with like a blue pumpkin in the window or mm -hmm. a blue pumpkin decal, that lets them know that they're an allergy friendly home, so they may not pass out candy. They okay. may give out something like glow bracelets or trinkets of some kind. So it's absolutely okay. But if but we don't see that blue pumpkin? If you don't see that blue pumpkin and then that person gives you a lecture when you open the door, you know, that's a place you know to avoid next time. Right. But don't address them during the event at the exchange. Don't make a big scene at the doorway. Last just say year, thanks I so much. Have said anything. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> because it's not the time to convert someone on why they should not be eating candy. Right. right. Oh, I remember those houses as a kid where we would go up to the door and they would give us a box of raisins and we're like, oh man. Uh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> raisins. <laughs> raisins. Any, exactly. Your house like, is what egg. is this? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that that you just mark it mark it off on your list of places Very to avoid next year. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I always have a blast with you guys. Thank you. So you. Thank you. Want to learn more. Time. You guys have an event coming up, yes, right? Yes, we do. We do. We actually have an event coming up. It's our holiday dining etiquette course for adults this For time. adults. Oh. Yeah, it's going to take place yeah. November 17th at 5.30 at Le Bistro. And so you can log on to our website to get more information, www.mlsoe.com. Yes. Love it. Great to see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And happy Halloween. Happy Thank Halloween. you, you guys. <laughs> Still to come after Halloween, do you end up overloaded with candy? Or girl, raisins. Or ah! pennies. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do, from donating to uh, creating edible slime. We're going to have the 411 after the break. That's details. Details. The 411. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's a little messy out there. Unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with some scattered showers and thunderstorms for a chunk of the day today. So keep that in mind. You definitely need to make sure that you plan a backup and also for some rain gear if you're taking the kids out. Let's see if we can't find a little bit of a window, though. I do think as we get to about 3 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock, so as you're getting the little ones out, uh, we should see some breaks, but there could be some downpours. You may have to just run back into the car real quick for about 10 minutes as that passes on through. The front itself won't be moving through until we get later on this evening. By 8 o'clock, that's now starting to approach the Brazos Valley. Moving down around I-10 as we get towards 10, 11 o'clock, could see some embedded strong thunderstorms, maybe even a few isolated severe ones too. So just make sure you've got a way to keep the notifications on your phone, especially overnight as that moves its way towards the coast. Once we get into tomorrow, we are finished and a much better looking forecast. So we'll be looking anywhere from around temperatures in the mid 70s, a lot of cloud cover today and the rain chances will be cranking up the later it is. So if you've got plans for a party this evening, also make sure that's probably best inside. Check out Thursday Friday looking good. We'll keep the mid 60s for highs overnight lows in the 40s and not too bad for much of our weekend forecast. Well, if you are drowning in Halloween candy and don't want to throw it out, there are plenty of things you can do with all of the leftovers. Throw it out? Who would do that? No. Stacey Garska Rodriguez from the Soccer Mom blog is here with some creative suggestions 
And uh, there are all kinds of things people can do from donating it to troops overseas to creating slime, which is what you're about to show us. We are. So we are making edible candy slime. And there's a couple different types of candies today. We're using Starburst or Laffy Taffy. You can also use candy corn. Um, I have a recipe for that on my website. So you just make sure they're unwrapped, of course. Right. And there is a little bit of microwaving here, so mom or dad should do that part. All okay. Right. So, I'm gonna so how long? About um, 10 to 20 seconds just to get it going, get it melted. Okay. So just bear with me for just a second. Okay, so that's gonna be 20 seconds. And yeah. we should mention too, the book that you've written um, is just came into print, right? It did. The slime book I co-authored with my friend Jennifer. We have In the Kids Kitchen Together, another food blog for kids. And we made an ebook about a year ago and it just went to print. Um, it's available on Amazon. So we're really excited about that one. Congratulations. Thank and slime, you. This is something that is obviously edible, right? The kids can play with it as well. It is. I mean, there are definitely a lot of glue based slimes you see, but my daughter was two at the time we started messing around with slime. And I didn't want, you know, she was sticking everything in her mouth. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure that. If she did, it wasn't gonna hurt her. Right, so this is about a half a cup of the candy that you're using, right? Yeah, and so we just kind of make sure that that's mushing around a little bit, get it nice and melty. It's funny, when I was a kid, I would take Starburst and just mash them together anyway. So this is like <laughs> this the is proper perfect. way to do it. So this is three ingredients. We've got the candy here. I've got a little bit of powdered sugar. Now, I do have the recipe on screen for you guys, so you get an idea of what to do, and it's not an exact science, so sure. you see I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. And you're using there what, about a quarter cup or a sixth of a cup? This is an eighth cup right here of okay. cornstarch and powdered sugar. And so you just kind of get it going in there, and we mash it in a little bit. There'll be a little bit extra of the powder, and that's okay. You just, that way, um, you can kind of knead it like dough. And we should we pop it back in, or that's the consistency that we're looking this for? This one's gonna be a little bit more like taffy. Oh, so good. So I don't like to get it I like to err on the side of not being, you know, boiling, basically. Sure. So once you get it going, you just kind of mush it around. And is this something that someone at home could use a mixer to do, or is it really best done by hand? By hand, spoon? definitely. And if you want to just knead it around, I got all the, the oh my messy gosh. part going. It's crazy. And that's That's, that's super it. cool. So yeah. it's that sort fast. Of like a better version of Play-Doh, but it tastes yeah. good in case people, like a kid pops it in their mouth. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely still supervise, you know, because it is... You've got kind of a silly putty texture. Yeah, but that it does. One, there you go. That's that's simple. Oh, and cool. if it starts to harden up a little bit, you can just pop it back in the microwave for 10 seconds cool. and kind of mush it up. And so you can keep warm. reusing it. You can reuse it. I mean, it's food based, so probably one day and toss it is what I do with my kids. Right. But other than that, I mean, they can play with would that for a while. Would you store it in a container? I would. Um, you probably could keep this overnight. If they've been, you know, their kids have got their hands in it, I would encourage them not to eat it on day two. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. So. There you go. That's a great idea. Okay, let's also talk about places to donate candy. As Derek said at the beginning of mm -hmm. our interview with you, that there's other places. Uh, talk to us about that. Yeah, so if you've got candy that's not really good for making slime, um, there are a lot of organizations that send care packages to troops, like Operation Gratitude, and we'll put a full list of those on the screen. Oh. You can also call your Ronald McDonald House or um, local charities or shelters. I would call first before showing up with a bunch of candy and make sure that they really do take those things and what kind of candy they might accept. You could even call your dentist and see if they do a trade-in. Some dentists will give you a free toothbrush right. or some floss and fun stuff for the kids if they, you know, bring some of their candy, you know. Obviously, dentists aren't crazy about you eating a bunch of candy. Exactly. So there's a lot of things you can do with year, it. I think you can, right? Um, and then also, um, I guess, check with your dentist, too, because there's rules that they have in place, yeah. right? They may or may not do it, but a lot of them do. You know, they're trying to make sure that kids have good oral hygiene and not eat all of that candy because they get so many so much <laughs> well, Stacy these are great ideas because I know a lot of people like when I first got my first house and I was so excited for handing out candy and I didn't get a single trick-or-treater so right. I had all this candy so if you're out there and you are drowning in tons of candy these are some great options Stacy thanks so much for stopping by the show and if you would like to keep up with Stacy you can visit the scene on Houston life section on our website we appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. me. Well, this week's Amazing Animal Tale is coming up next. We're going to learn about this cute dog's journey with the Houston SPCI, SPCA and how they're caring for animals like him. Today's Amazing Animal Tale is brought to you by the Houston SPCA. When injured animals arrive at the Houston SPCA, most of the time nobody knows how they got hurt. <laughs> I know. I thought that was my read. It <laughs> it's not a camp. funny issue, it people. Camp. It's very serious. It said Kim. 
Okay, however, in the case of Muppet, the kind person who brought him in witnessed him getting hit by a car. He was barely responsive, so the veterinarian team rushed him into x-ray where he discovered that his organs had been uh, displaced by the impact of the car. Muppet went straight into surgery where they discovered his entire stomach and liver had been forced into his chest cavity. He also suffered bruising to his lungs and a dislocated hip, but thanks to the quick thinking of the person who found him and the heroic actions of the Houston SPCA veterinary staff, Muppet has has been making a full recovery. Well, he is currently living in a loving foster home while his hip and lungs heal. Though looking at him, you'd never know he'd experience such unimaginable trauma. To learn more about how you can help support the Houston SPCA, log on to their west website, HoustonSPCA.org. All right, and don't go away on this spooky Halloween. There is much more Houston life right after this. Stand I'm on, on the, the box. box. <laughs> don't fall. All right, taking a live look outside of the Southwest Freeway. See traffic moving around. Roads are wet, so be careful out there. You know, coming up on tomorrow in Houston Life, a snake, a possum, and an owl stop by our studio for a lesson on Texas wildlife. Oh, Tex, you're going to love meeting all these little critters. Plus, Texas country artist Pat Green is in town for the grand opening of The Rustic. He will be performing live on Houston Life. But before that, if you're tired of battling pesky signs of aging like wrinkles, under eye bags, and crow's feet, Tex, you're going to want to hear about this. Lifestyle expert Scott DeFalco recently stopped by Houston Live to explain how Plexiderm can help your skincare routine. All right, Scott DeFalco, welcome back to Houston Life. It's good Thanks to see you. Thanks for having me back. You know I love coming here. Well, we love talking <laughs> about under eye bags. Uh, this is something that's maybe like water cooler conversation. And it's not just for women. We're right. two dudes, right? Right. And guys definitely suffer from this issue as well. A little puffiness yes, under the do. eye. Well, we want to look good too, Derek. We've got much more vein in the last 10 years. And yeah, it's funny because the normal key signs of aging that people get, they're more prevalent in men, are more noticeable because most men don't wear makeup. Women that try to cover up these problems areas with makeup the more they put on the more can enhance it oh so this is me <laughs> you didn't know that Derek well no but I'm, I'm I am totally agreeing with you because if someone tries to put a ton of under eye makeup on yeah. man or woman yes. you're gonna see little creases and your under eye bags are still gonna it, be there it's gonna enhance it but more. they'll just have makeup lines all through them and that's why we use guys a lot for these before and afters in these videos and that's why we use our guy you know my guy mr. Richie, Richie bags. bags he has gotten famous from this video Derek and you can see he's got some pretty serious issues under both of those eyes and what he's doing right now um, for those of you that haven't seen this video before is rubbing a small amount of plexiderm it's a highly concentrated formula so less is more so he rubbed a small amount under both under eye bags don't blink don't change that channel because in two minutes both of them are going to be gone. Okay, cool. And we're sort of like scrolling through the timeline on the right side. We will check back in with Richie. Was he like a partier in his <laughs> earlier life? Like, how did he get those? He said, look, we got another image of Mike, the CFO of our company. We pulled Richie from accounting. So clearly they're working too hard there because we have issues with under eye bags in our New York office. But Richie was really funny because I, I think I told you this before. We pulled him from accounting and he was all excited when we told him he was going to be in our new commercial. And then when we told him what it was for, uh, he wasn't so happy as you can see from the look on his face. But after the two minutes, he was because it worked. He was excited. He smiled, and this product is a game changer in the fashion beauty industry. Derek, I'm telling you, I go all over the country. I haven't stopped going since the last time I was here. That's how popular it is. Well, and I know we've talked a lot about uh, under eye bags so far, but this also works on other parts of the face, right? Yeah, and that's the great thing about our new and improved formula. If you remember, I started coming here a couple of years ago. I, we had a video of Richie where he rubbed it under one eye, and it went away in three minutes and 20 seconds. The new video you see is both eyes, and in two minutes, both are gone. But it's also not just working quicker, but as you're seeing on your screen Derek all the problem areas of the face not just those under eye bags like you mentioned it's the forehead lines the crow's feet the laugh lines around your mouth and that loose skin you can get under your neck with the normal signs of aging or maybe somebody that's lost a lot of weight Oh, you interesting. Know? Yeah, because they feel great about themselves when they lose the weight, but then they get insecure again because the skin under their neck is loose. As you see on your screen or saw on your screen, Plexderm's working on that as well. Okay, and we're going to hear from some people who have actually used the product themselves. Yeah photos. Thank you so much. You guys, happy Halloween. We'll see you tomorrow. Good Be job. Safe out Don't there. smile.